house here in the barrio. We're in the barrio. Run very, pretty much in the barrio. I'm trying. I'm having my wife work work working her turns. Okay, hon. Be careful, hon. There's a hole there. See, this is one of the difficult things here in the I'm Philippines. Gonna, gonna... There's a lot of holes in the side of the road. It's the canal, the sewage drains. So if she makes a miscalculation, we could fall in those those sewage drains. It's not easy here, guys. Don't ever think it's easy. Don't ever say it's easy because. You know, that's not fair to me. I've been driving for 27 years. If, if it's easy, I would say it. It's easy to drive here, but it's not. Yeah, it's probably not compared to your 30 years, 35 years, or 40 years. But 27 years is goddamn enough, okay? To be able to say it's not easy here. Okay, be careful, hon. See? Her driving school only made her go through the wide open roads. You know what I mean? And then they tell her, good job, good job, good job. Duh, duh, obviously the roads are wide open. And they're playing it safe too. They don't want, they don't want their car to be wrecked. You know what I mean? They should have took her here to a place like this. Right? Okay, hold on. Let them go. Let them pass. I mean, this is the, this is, this is a true, this is a true driving lesson. Because this is the Philippines right here. This is what you're going to encounter most of the time. Little spaces, small roads, you know, sewer drainage in the side of the street. That's that's the real. Those are real driving conditions. Not in wide open goddamn spaces, you know. I mean, and then tell your student, good job, good job, good job, good job. Fuck, that's stupid, you know. Put them here, but of course they're not gonna do that because they're playing it safe too. They don't want their car to be wrecked or scratched or empty. Anyway, we're taking a chance because then she needs to do this. Things to deal with, see? There's a highway, you get a tricycle, it's going slow as hell, and you get a tricycle in this other lane that's going slow as hell. Has no consideration for other motorists. As long as as long as they're getting where they need to go, they're not actually supposed to be on this kind. They're not actually they're actually not supposed to be in a highway. But look. You know? Now you gotta dodge these guys. You know what I mean? Okay. Shoulder, mirror, shoulder. Did you check, man? Don't tell me you checked. I did. Uh, I know. See, now they're just, yeah. but they're just smiling, laughing, you know? Like what they're doing is right. Take a break from driving and uh, you're here at Mr. Wong's. Uh, Mr. Wong's. Chinese restaurant, but uh, looks like Koreans. I'm running home. One thing I did notice though, is even despite of the pandemic they don't have the pandemic prices like everybody else see even before the pandemic my favorite chip is was 280 still 280 <clears throat> and everything else is still pretty much cheap or affordable however you want to word it see no pandemic prices attached other places are crazy man you know so how are these guys doing it? See? Still 280. Still 280. That's what I'm gonna order today. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <clears throat> My wife needs a lot of things. She needs to work on a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> her turning. Uh, just a lot of things. Lane changing. Safe lane changing. At the same time, it's kind of scary, you know, because I don't have brakes. I don't have brakes or steering wheel on my side. Not like the driving schools do. <coughs> but, you know, I gotta have faith. Well, I gotta wait for my wife. She went to the bank real quick. Right, I enjoyed that breakfast. I enjoyed it better than yesterday at, um, when we had the tequila reef. This was much cheaper, man. Killed it. Okay, the same thing. Spicy seafood noodle. Uh, the spicy seafood noodle. I didn't show the food ready, but I said that you can't have any of them. So I just showed the aftermath. Yeah. That was so good, huh? That was so good. I haven't enjoyed breakfast like that in a long time. That was good. Alright, we're gonna head out again. Or to the bank.
Go home. Make out, man. Go somewhere in the bed. All right. Check you out. Bed. All right. The missus went to the bank again to withdraw. But I don't think we're going to go out anymore over the weekend. And we have some place to go on Monday. I'm not going to say for now, but yeah. And she's going to drive some more. Mga boss, ano to? Ngayon lang pa. Oh my God. <laughs>